So here we have a perfectly functional MacBook Pro Retina 13 inch early 2015 running OS X 10.10.5. So many things on this Mac don't work because the current version of OS X is version 13, OS X Ventura. No updates available. There are many different versions of Linux. They're called distros or distributions. And since Linux is open source, there are quite a lot of them. So I had to decide which one to use. I learned quite a lot from Nick. His channel is The Linux Experiment on YouTube. Originally, I was going to use KDE Plasma, uh, but I ended up downloading KDE Neon, which is updated more frequently according to what I've read. But it came down to either that or Mint Cinnamon. And this website was very useful in determining that this is from zdnet um, i'll have links to these websites before and they basically um, either recommend kde neon or kde plasma or uh, linux mint cinnamon i ended up going with uh, the kde desktop based on the the linux experiment channels recommendations uh, and the fact that one website I looked at said that it was a little more efficient with computer resources. And being as this computer is old, I wanted something uh, pretty efficient. This is an ON brand, O-N-N, -N, uh, 64 gigabyte USB 3.0 uh, flash drive. I picked it up from Walmart for $10.58, including tax. I got the KDE Neon file from neon.kde.org. A really, really helpful website was this one from Ubuntu. Ubuntu, I think I'm saying that wrong. That is also a version of Linux. Uh, it just walks you right through how to install Linux. Etcher is the software I used to make the USB stick bootable so that the computer would boot from the stick. And I'll try to run it. And that's what I get. Okay, this Mac should be able to run the software. Okay, here we go. Flash from file. Select target. Click. Won't select. Okay, so this from support.etcconnect.com says that the ISO file can't be on the flash drive. So that's easy enough to solve. That seems to have worked. It's selectable now. Here goes. I'm not sure if it went right or not. I held down the option key while powering on the Mac. So now just select EFI boot. Asking me to select operating system, so I'll take KDE Neon. Displayed some gobbledygook on the screen. Not sure what that failed thing is there, <laughs> but it went past it. 
this in one more time. I'll make twice I've done this. I clicked this, and this is what I'm getting. I set up the username, uh, computer name, and password, and it's zipping right along with the install. That was an incredibly short amount of time. This whole setup was maybe 20, 30 minutes. So we're done. It's just automatically restarting. So please remove the installation medium, then press enter. So sticks out, enter. Didn't see an error message that time. All right, so it's popped up with the login screen. That was an incredibly short boot time, and now the login screen is up. Entered my password. It looks like I can get applications from this Discover Software Center. So let's see what that is. And oh yeah, there's tons of software. I have for $11 resurrected an otherwise useless MacBook Pro.